you listen to the reaction of the general manager of the Warriors, like crying, um, I would say they don't think it was worth it either. Um, but, you know. In the moment. Well, but if I, they win it, worth it. I'm not sure because, again, he helped he's them win lucky. yesterday. Now, he got hurt early in the game and only played 12 minutes. But he definitely helped them win. Um, I guarantee you, if you gave them a, a, a contract and you said, okay, you're going to win game five. Kevin's going to get off to a hot start, but he's going to blow his Achilles in the middle of the game. Do you want the deal? They're no, not taking the deal. Not no one takes it. it. No Literally, way. no one takes it. So, uh, I would disagree. With them. Yeah, no one takes that deal. Because he's out for a year. He'll be diminished. Now, it's not like John Wall. But there's no guarantee there. Yeah, he doesn't rely on speed. That's a, uh, it's a little bit of a false contract because the contract is the doctors say he's okay. He's practicing with the team. He's been running up and down. He's scoring in the game. And then he gets hurt. Yeah, but I'm there was just, no guarantee he was going to get hurt. No, there was definitely no guarantee he was going to get hurt. And they thought that he wouldn't, but it was always the risk that they ran. Right. So, But again, there was a risk listen, he could have done that in practice the day before. Listen, I understand what you're saying. I just would be, you know, nobody would nobody would want that to happen. Nobody would say, yeah, it's worth this one game. Even if he blows the series, they'd rather have KD back healthy potentially for years. Now it's, I mean, I think he'll be okay. Look, Boogie Cousins has recovered pretty well from his Achilles. Mm-hmm. But, again, he's not a quickness-based player. And same thing kind of with KD. I mean, KD uses quickness, obviously. But the, it's not like John Wall where it's, that's his whole game. Well, also, Kevin Durant, unlike John Wall, is a great shooter. Great we shooter. saw that early in the game. Yeah. He also has that unique height and long arms for a guy who's shooting that it makes it almost unguardable. Right. It's not like he's jumping over the top of guys to hit his jump shot. Now, does he use some quickness? Yes. Will that all be gone? We don't know. But he has that Dirk Nowitzki one-leg shot that he takes. He has so many weapons in his arsenal. He'll come back and score. Kobe Bryant came back and scored. Right, but just a different player. Dear Abby, can we just play a, a 30 seconds or a minute of it? Can, can you have it, Valdez? But we'll play the whole thing later or whatever. There's nine people in our cars right now. You just got to listen to Bob Myers. He's the general manager. He's been executive of the year twice. He's won three titles with the Warriors. He's a former UCLA walk-on. Here's him talking about Kevin uh, to open his press conference last night after the the emotional win. Uh, Kevin had a, it's it's an Achilles injury. I don't know uh, the extent of it. He'll have an MRI tomorrow. Um, Prior to coming back, he went through four weeks with our medical team, and um, it was thorough, and it was experts, and multiple MRIs, and multiple doctors, um, and we felt good about the process. Uh, He was cleared to play tonight. That that was a collaborative decision. Um, I don't believe there's anybody to blame. But I understand this, this world, and um, if you have to, you can blame me. I, ru- I run our basketball di- operations department, and <laughs> that's not a guy that's okay with him blowing out his Achilles for the game. That, no, it, that is not, not a guy. Not, not okay, okay with, with it. Distraught, and but he again, wouldn't trade he, it. But he, okay, that's right. But at the time, at the moment, was it worth the risk? And I think what he's saying is we felt like it was from the doctors. We did everything because they didn't to think it was. Ready. They didn't think that was going to happen. Right, it happened. That's the result. But the process, but they, I think, was fine. And at the moment when you make a decision, the, the problem you I have with in, it, and he helped you win a game. The problem that I had with it is that reports had been leaking out for weeks, and we alluded to it that there was an Achilles involvement here. And anytime you're dealing with that, I think you have to be extra careful. No, I guess they obviously think they did. They did multiple MRIs, right? So they're constantly checking it. Here's but. what is clear, though. The Raptors fans are trash. That is a trash fan base because they initially they were cheering when he was right. limping off the court. And then they had, to, they had to be coaxed by their own players to kind of turn it around and start chanting his name and cheering in support of him. Right. That is a trash fan base. And also, you have to give props to their players for reacting oh, the right way. absolutely, of course. Because right? everybody on the court knew what happened. I yeah. agree with you, Cakes, but deep down, let's say the Wizards were in that position. Yeah. Oh, and the now Wizards were putting the guns on yeah. you. And the Wizards were playing the Golden State Warriors right. in the finals. Oh, I, 
This is clearly a pipe dream, but continue. Game five at home. Yep, three games to one. Right. Kevin Durant comes back. Mm -hmm. He's on fire early. He scores 11 points in 12 minutes. He's on pace for a 40-point game. Sure, he's scorching you. Maybe you don't cheer, but Mm -hmm. deep down in your heart, you're probably thinking the Wizards are about to win. That's what the Raiders were no, thinking. No, I know it's positive for the team that I'm <laughs> right. rooting for, but I'm... You I zip it, I but deep some, down, you're fist pumped. Well, I actually have some class, and I'm, I'm going to clap the guy up because he just suffered what turned out to be a devastating injury. Right, right. And I'm not a monster, like most of those people in, in the stands But last what night. would your feelings be deep down? I, I might be <laughs> might be fist pumping a little bit, but yeah. my outward emotion is going to be supporting the guy who just went down with an injury. 